Today I'm showing you guys how I made this knit shrug and you can also wear it as a scarf. So basically we're going to make a front and a back panel, connect them at the shoulders before we work the sleeves. I want it to be a bit of a loose knit style. So the yarn calls for a 4mm needle but I sized up to 9mm. So I started with the back panel because it doesn't require any shaping around the neckline which makes it easier to make. I lift about 1 meter and cast on 61 stitches with long tail cast on. I did an odd number of stitches because I wanted the ribbing to be symmetrical. So the cast on stitch number is the width of the panel. It took me a few tries to get it close to my desired size. So it's completely normal if you don't succeed on your first try. Also, the panel width has to be at least half of my chest measurement. It should even be a little bit wider than that so it can sit comfortably around my underarm. So after casting on 61 stitches, I started the first row of ribbing, which is a one by one rib. So I just knit one stitch and purl one stitch. The second row of ribbing I started with a purl stitch and then repeated the same pattern which is knit one, purl one. I then did those two rows two more times so in total I have six rows of ribbing. The main pattern of the panel is just plain stockinette stitch. So that means row 1, I knitted every stitch. And row 2, I purled every stitch. I then repeated those two rows until the panel height is half my arm width. I worked 20 rows totally, which stretched to 7 inches before I cast off. I always try to cast off on the knit side because it's easier to do. To cast off, knit until you have two stitches on your working needle, and then pull the first loop over the second one. Knit one more stitch so you have two stitches again then cast off the stitch before. I try not to do it too tight, otherwise the shoulder seam won't be as stretchy as the actual panel. When I have one loop left, I just pull the yarn through that loop and cut it. I started the first 16 rows of the front panel in the exact same way, so I had 4 rows left to do some shaping around the neckline. I put the panel against my neck and see how many stitches I needed to leave out for the neck hole. I like my neckline a bit smaller, so I left only 15 stitches at the center. You can leave more length if you want a bigger neck hole. As the panel has an odd number of stitches, I also left an odd number of stitches for the neck hole so that I can have an even number of stitches left to be evenly distributed for each shoulder. I then worked the left shoulder first, decreasing on the next side. I knit to the last 4 stitches before the stitch marker. I made a decrease by knitting the next two stitches together, finished this left shoulder, and then turned my work and worked the next row by purling each stitch. I then worked a knit row again with a decrease at the end of the row.
After that, I purled one more row before I cast off the stitches before the stitch marker. This time, I left a long tail so I could use it to join the left shoulder later. I rejoined the yarn from the next stitch and cast off the stitches before the next stitch marker. As only the stitches after the stitch marker is the right shoulder, I still have one more stitch on my right needle I need to cast off. So I knit one more stitch to cast off that stitch. So this is actually the first stitch and the row I'm working on is actually the first decrease row. So on this side of the row, I need to decrease to shape the neck. I knit one more stitch and then I could decrease over the next two stitches. On the right shoulder, the decrease method I use is SSK. This will mirror the knit two together decrease I did on the other shoulder. To do an SSK, slip the next stitch, slip the stitch after it, and insert the left needle back through the front loops of those two stitches and knit them together. The rest of the row is just regular knit. Then after this, I did a purl row started the next knit row with an ssk decrease again did one more purl row before i cast off on the knit side again i left a long tail to seam them together i go in the top row between the first and the second columns pick up two loops and then go in the first and the second columns on the other panel and pick up two loops. And then back in where the yarn is coming out of on the other panel and pick up two loops again. And then just repeat this. Then I fastened it off on the wrong side. For the other shoulder, I need to start from the neck. So I marked out the last 21 stitches to join with the front panel. I also fastened off this tail at the front chest area. I picked up stitches along the edge of both panels to work the sleeve. Again, I'm just going between the first and the second column between that knit and that purl stitch. Pull the yarn through. Then I move along the edge, go in the next space, pick up a loop, in the next space, one more loop. Then I skip the fourth space. Starting from the next space, repeat the same step. So basically, I picked up three loops for every four spaces. I ended up having 31 stitches for each sleeve. The first row is a purl because when I turn my work, I have the wrong side facing me. 
From there, I alternated between a knit and a purl row to work the stuck in a stitch. So I just continued working my sleeve until the length is to my liking. I did 90 rows and for the edge, I wanted to do something different. I got this lime green chunky yarn, which I thought would go with the color. And I also used a crochet hook of the same size to do the last round. I first attached the yarn in the first stitch and made a single crochet. I need two loops on my hook to make a single crochet, so I yarn over first and pull up a loop from the stitch then yarn over again pull through those two loops and then from there I just made one single crochet in each loop so I insert my hook in the next stitch pull up a loop Meanwhile, drop the old loop from the needle and then make a single crochet. When I finished the last stitch, I just joined it to the first stitch with a slip stitch and then fastened off. Then I used this yarn to sew up the underarm. So again, I go in between the first and the second column. Go in the same row on the other side. And normally I should go back into where the yarn is coming out of. But here I just go straight in the next space catch one bar this way i can still sew up the sleeve but it works faster and the same for the other side i moved on to the next space and then i just continued doing that If you guys want this opening to be a bit smaller, you can just make your panel not as wide as mine. But then remember, you'll need to work more rows here to compensate for the total length of the sleeve. 